In this video section of Stump LD, we're going to hear about NHS special services for people with learning disabilities. Jill, I am making a video to help other workers know what to do about Stump LD. Can you tell me what you know about it? Well, Daniel, stopping over-medicating people with learning disabilities with psychotropics is important as we know they are often prescribed for too long and can have serious side effects. We need medication to be the last resort. We've already heard from doctors about how they can review the medicine. What can your service do? In a specialist learning disability team, there are usually workers from different professions who may all have skills to help. Speech and language therapists can help with the communication and understanding. Clinical psychologists can help with behaviour. Occupational therapists can help with activities. Physiotherapists can help with any movement problems. These could be caused by taking medicines for a long time. The group that can help the most is the learning disability nurses who can help to explain the medicines, monitor side effects and help carers and people with learning disability to follow the advice they often work with the psychiatrist. Do you think you will be asked to see more people? I think we will. What we think would be a good way to work would be to have the right people involved with each person having a review. We can't do this though as we don't have enough staff. So what we are going to do is work with the patients at one GP practice at a time. What about the people who you are asked to see for behaviours who aren't taking this medicine yet. We need to make sure that they are seen by the community team quickly and we have a plan with them and their family about what to do. What kind of plans might they be? We may still need the psychiatrist to help but any medicine will be given for a short time and then checked again to see if it is helping. I said before we want medicine to be the last resort the team can see people more often than the psychiatrist and can help families and people try different things to help with the behaviour. We might get people to try more activities. We would definitely have a plan about their understanding and communication. We would try and find out if someone had an illness or pain that was making them behave in a certain way. We would look at their environment and plan to change things. Sometimes we would need to look and talk to social services as the problem could be about where they live or the people that they live with. We would use positive behaviour support planning. We would help to make plans to try and stop the behaviour starting and what to do if it does start. Thank you, Jill. Is there anything that you would like to add for other learning disability services? Just that psychotropic medication should be the last resort. So, to summarise, use positive behaviour support plans involve the MDT in full assessment of behaviour make medication the last resort.